Just your real quick thoughts on each of these guys, what they bring to the Mets bullpen that maybe this bullpen didn't have. Velocity. And that's not just Fujinami, who I'll get to in a second, which we know what velocity comes along with him. Jake Diekman averaged 95.4 miles an hour on his fastball last year, up to 97. He struggled in 13 innings for the White Sox at the beginning of the season, got designated for assignment or released, whatever, and ended up, of course, with the Tampa Bay Rays. And what do the Tampa Bay Rays do? Just fix people. And Jake Diekman was tremendous for Tampa, posting an ERA just over two. And one thing with Adam Adovino, who the Mets signed last week, and Diekman, these are two pitchers that routinely take the ball 60 times a season or so. So despite older age on them, they almost feel like two relievers that you could rely on in a bullpen that, you know, we'll talk about the philosophy and the quantity of arms that they have. Having some reliability is huge. And Diekman, of course, uh, produced very well for Tampa Bay. Fujinami, this is the more fun one to me. I mean, this yeah. is sheer this is sheer projection if you look up his baseball reference page don't it's just not great uh but when you're looking at relievers especially uh pitchers like fujinami who like you said connor came over to america last offseason as a starter for the oakland a's eventually got traded to baltimore they shift him to the bullpen and things started to look a lot better once he moved to the bullpen this is a fastball that'll average around 98 miles an hour He's thrown as high as 103, which was against the New York Mets. And DJ Stewart in Baltimore blew him away with 103 mile an hour fastball. He has a mid 80 sweeper and a nice hard splitter that he throws. So when you look at just the tool belt, it's you, you can't get more exciting than this. However, it's your wild thing. It's your it's your Rick Vaughn, <laughs> right? He's coming with the big velocity. He's coming with the big stuff. Uh, you have no idea where it's going to go from time to time, but this is the prime example of what a pitching coach like Jeremy Hefner needs to show some of his worth because Fujinami for $3 million, it wouldn't shock me whatsoever if he ended up being the Mets' eighth inning reliever behind Edwin Diaz with the kind of stuff that he has. So it's just a matter of can you get him to throw enough strikes? He's going to walk, guys. That's okay but we need to get him to throw more strikes than he did in 2023.